can tell by the sound, a very, very sexy car. We are in a 2015 Corvette C7 Stingray. This is a Z51 package. I hope you can hear me. Uh, this car does have Corsa exhaust that I can tell. And I think it also looked like it had headers on it. So it sounds really healthy, really good. And we're gonna take it for a drive. things sound good and the feeling of the Z51 pack so for those of you that don't know although I'm sure most people have already known this car has been out for a while um, I really just wanted to bring awareness that we have it and to share with you how I feel about driving it so yeah Z51 pack gives you uh, summer tires gives you better brakes gives you the magnetic ride suspension um, and it's pretty cool it, it rides really freaking nice That's pretty cool. This truck's trying to get over. Yeah, you just dump it down to six and you have all the torque in the world. It's very cool. going to be older gentlemen, right? People in their late 40s, 50s, 60s, somewhere around that range. So I could think of three things that happens during that time period that would prevent someone from keeping such a great driver's car. One, they buy it without the missus consent. They bring it home and she's like, what is this? You didn't tell me about this. We can't afford this or something around those lines, right? And so the car gets traded in shortly thereafter or sold. Two, they get it. Wife's okay with it, but since they're older, probably a little bit out of shape, they have a hard time getting it out of the car, so they don't drive it as much. It winds up sitting in the garage, therefore they end up selling it, because it's like, well, what's the point of keeping it? It's just sitting in the garage. And then you have the third option of, they just get something else. They think they want a Corvette, they get a Corvette, and then they realize it just doesn't suit their personality and their lifestyle and what they're looking for. Um, so they end up trading it in for something else. So just some really interesting things, facts about Corvettes, about Corvette owners that I've noticed over the years, that would definitely play into why 
Corporates are usually three and four hundred cars, and it's short period of time. You know, they'll have them for a year, six months, seven months. It's. I'm willing to bet it has something to do with one of those three things. And then the fourth thing could be cost. Somebody got it, and they couldn't afford it. by itself there when I when I got close to red line there in fifth. Interesting. But no, this car is something else. It's it's so nice. And the sound. Oh man the sound. You just you can't get over the sound. I wish we had some better roads to get some handling in here, but you know here we are in Texas it's flat and long. So we don't really have that. It's beautiful. So this is going to be a quick little drive to express my thoughts on the Corvette. Uh, we do have it. It is available. This particular one's got 30,000 miles. It runs beautifully. It's got exhaust and headers on it. It sounds really good. I can't tell if anything else has been done to it. Um, but man, man, is this a nice car. Shifty nine. All right. I tried to shift up, but it did not even shifting up. Uh, it gets too low RPM, too low speed, that makes sense. Seventh is all you need for 50 miles an hour. Yeah, so needless to say, expect me to be getting my own Corvette as soon as freaking possible. And for those of you wondering about the 5.3 budget build, that's still happening. I am just saving up money and buying parts so I can just knock it all out. Uh, one after one after one after one. So, 5.3 build still happening. I haven't stopped, I haven't given up. I'm just putting out more content because I've always wanted to do car reviews. Yeah. Yeah, I came in to get my Corvette. <laughs> and and the, the interior, everyone loves the interior. It's got the power screen that hides. It's like a little cubby hole behind the screen. That's so awesome. I love how the Chevy did that. Props to them for that. Yeah, this car is great. Um, I'm in love. Got to get my Corvette ASAP. ASAP. I want to see six personally, but I definitely, definitely, really, really like the C7 now that I've finally been in one. I'm gonna put it back in manual and automatic mode. Get some cinematic shots for your eyes, your viewing pleasure, and that will wrap it up. Such an awesome car, guys. So yeah, if you're looking for a Corvette, or if you're looking for a sporty muscle car at all, we have quite a few. We've got two Corvette, three Corvettes actually, two C7s, um, and a C5, and two Challengers. But we've got a couple fun cars. So if you are looking for a fun pre-owned car, come see me, Devon, Taylor, Katie, and we will get you taken care of. We have the fun cars. Yes, yes we do. This thing sounds so nice. One of the best engines, sounds good. Um, yeah, it's no wonder that these are so loved and sought after, both on and off track. They're just, they're really good cars. They're comfortable, they look great, and they make you feel special. And that's what you want when you're looking for a sports car, isn't it? You want it to be comfortable, to a degree. Well, no, you want it to be comfortable. You want it to look great, and you want it to make you feel special. And driving, is always higher up there, but it's a Corvette, you know it's gonna drive right. So really happy for what Chevy did with these improvements over the C6 interior. And yeah, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. All right, so thanks again for watching. Remember to go out there, do something awesome. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the reason why Corvette owners sell or have so many different own. The reason, let me know your thoughts on why Corvettes have so many different owners. I'm really curious as to what you guys think about that. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go out there and do something awesome. Peace.